This video is presented by EA Game Changers. What's going on guys and gals, my name is Shadox and today I wanted to see if I could answer the question I've seen posted online recently. With the cosmetic changes in Battlefield 5, can you tell the difference between friend and foe? So to answer this question for myself, I loaded up a game of Grand Operations and turned all of the HUD elements off. No spotting, no minimap, just my situational awareness and reaction to keep me alive. My theory was that if I could successfully tell the difference between friend and foe, I wouldn't see too much of a drop in my KDR. While I don't think that the kill-death ratio is the best indicator of skill level, it was the best thing that I could base my performance on. For reference, in Battlefield 1 I generally end up with a KD between 1.5 and 2. So let's see how I did. One of the biggest issues I ran into during this game was not knowing the position of friendly forces. I couldn't pull up the map while I was spawned in, so most of the game I played very defensively. I generally tried to stick to teammates when I could, and for the most part it played out fairly well. I already knew that each team had an overall color scheme, brown and green for the British, and light blue or dark grey for the German team. In general, that was my go-to for determining whether or not someone was on my team. I did notice that during the first day of operations, the darker lighting made differentiating the dark grey German uniforms slightly harder, as I really couldn't be 100% sure if it was grey or brown. In the end, I think I did fairly well. I believe there were only a couple times where I shot at a friendly soldier, and I don't recall any instance where I didn't shoot at a German. Another key factor that I was using to determine if they were an enemy was the direction that they were shooting. It didn't always work all of the time, but coupled with the color scheme, I could identify an enemy fairly quickly. Overall, I didn't find the uniforms to be too distracting or misleading. I was able to win a fair amount of my firefights, mostly due to positioning. And generally speaking, most of my deaths were due to either being too exposed or running into multiple enemies. I did notice that classes could be a little bit difficult to differentiate but most of the time I was able to know what class an enemy was by what weapon they were using, and in general I found myself shooting them before I even really cared what class they were. Personally, and this is my opinion, I don't really care about another player's customizations. I do believe that it is a good way for the game to make money in the absence of premium pass, as long as it is purely cosmetic and does not affect gameplay, then I'm fine. Which when it comes down to it, I believe that's the majority opinion. Cosmetics are fine, things that affect gameplay are not. I was so focused during this game, I barely even noticed the other player's customizations. My focus was on staying alive, watching for movement, and trying to observe my surroundings. If I took the time to stare at a friendly or enemy's custom cosmetics, then it likely would have gotten me killed. But I understand and can empathize with those that say the experience does detract from the immersive elements of the game. I don't personally agree with them, but I can understand where they are coming from. So at the end of the game, how did I do? Did we answer the question of whether or not I could reliably tell the difference between a friend or a foe? At the end of the first day I had 22 kills and 11 deaths, and at the end of the second day my KD did drop a little bit to 32 kills and 21 deaths. So this falls right in line with my established average of 1.5 to 2 KDR. I did notice that my score was horribly low, but personally I think this was due more to my super defensive and slower paced playstyle due to the HUD being off rather than the effect of the cosmetics. Is this the end all answer to the question? No, this is simply my experience. I will say that playing with the HUD off really made me appreciate how much information we are given in a standard match. I couldn't tell where the flag capture radius was at or how far we were along to capturing a point, no mini map to look at, no spotting. There's a lot of information that every player gets to take advantage of in game. I do believe that if you are having difficulty with target acquisition and identification, then running a few rounds with the HUD turned off will help you out, as then you're going to need to learn instead of possibly relying on spotting or minimaps or other information readily available. But I would love to know what you guys think. Are you able to differentiate hostiles and friendlies quickly? If you are having issues, what do you think should be done differently with the game? I've stated my opinions and I'd love to hear yours. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then leaving a like helps let me know. And for more Battlefield 5 content, consider subscribing. My name is Shadox Films and I hope to see you on the battlefield.